Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Superstars of Wrestling Review Series for the 14th of September uh, of uh, 1991. Uh, that is our next foray into things. And the uh, month of September, usually a down month for wrestling now, but still then you could still get angles moving in that era. And they did because they only had four pay-per-views a year. If they go back to four or even six, I could compromise at six every other month better than what they're doing now. If they could go back to having times when pay-per-views matters and mattered and stories matter, and it can be done because, well, uh, AEW is doing it now. Anyway, um, the Dragon Ricky Steamboat in chops and body slams and lots of basic stuff. Um, and hit some... Chops right between the eyes, does the Dragon Irish Whip and Reversal, and uh, hits the hits into the buckle with the groin area, does the Enhancement Talent uh, Inverted Atomic Drop, and gets that going in a regular Atomic Drop from Steamboat as well. Steamboat never really finds his, his footing here, although does find it enough in this particular match to execute a top rope splash which is his victory maneuver we get an update once again on the um i guess mental and emotional state of miss elizabeth uh from the wedding reception issues jake roberts basically says he promises to make everybody pay sid justice says that in fact savage is home with his wife where he belongs but he is going to avenge Elizabeth and Randy Savage by default. Again, they may be taking time off. Not really sure what that looks like. Anyway, Greg Valentine, a guy who will be leaving the WWF in a matter of months, maybe uh, between now and the close of the year. Anyway, uh, no, I think he was there for the Royal Rumble. But punches, kicks, hammer, uh, hammer forearms, and a shot to the, the groin area. Works the leg for quite a few minutes and ultimately um, gets the figure four and the victory. A random soldier comes along and says that Sar Sergeant Slaughter is slime. They've all seen what he's done to his country and in, in uh, uh, abandoning his country and doesn't deserve forgiveness. Uh, he eventually does ask for forgiveness in another episode and asks for his country back. Uh, speaking of asking for forgiveness, the Mountie having some difficulty sending the offending enhancement talent, who's wearing purplish fuchsia tights into the corner area, kicked by the Mountie and the young man barely able to stand. Uh, Jimmy Hart is completely satisfied with all of this, and we see an Irish whip, a uh, modified choke slam, and a... Submission victory by the Mountie. Uh, Mountie demands respect post the match from the enhancement talent up in his face, yelling at him, and the Mountie has not learned his lesson from being assaulted by the big boss man. Uh, the Bushwhackers say that they're glad kids are doing well in school. Uh, the Berserker in an in inset promo with Mr. Fuji basically says Fuji's the only one that can control him at any level. Uh, IRS promises to come after everyone. And get their ta and get their taxes straightened out, even if they don't like it. Uh, and targets the boss man because that's where the feud is going. Uh, clothesline by IRS elbow drops and sending the guy to the outside of the ring. The eventual write-off Samoan drop is utilized, and that's pretty simple there. Uh, dives back, and away we go. Hogan out. Uh, says he himself has wondered for several years about Ric Flair. He's open to the challenge of it all. He knows that Hulkamania is the strongest force in the universe. People have asked him about Flair for years. They are setting up Flair and Hogan, which does not take off. Of course, the first place they really do it is in a western market in California. Not sure that that's the best way to get uh, those guys over, being that neither of them really had strongholds in that area that made a heck of a lot of sense historically. Anyway, Earthquake and Typhoon in the ring. Earthquake uses his weight, belly bumps him around. Uh, big splash in the corner, some 
Kicks by Typhoon. Typhoon with an earthquake with a double shoulder tackle running him over vertical and horizontal splashes by the natural disasters. And they come out with a victory. Same promo from both uh, the British Bulldog about being bullied by the um, guys like Big Bully Busick. Skinner says he's not intimidated by the people in the uh, WWF at the time. Jim the Anvil Nightheart is back and having himself a match uh, wearing a tire that eventually would be designated for his team with Owen Hart in... Uh, I don't think they were... High, the New Foundation. I was going to call him High Energy, but that was Owen and Coco. Anyway, Brooklyn Brawler gets dominated by Anvil. Body slams, shoulder tackles, and the like. Uh, Anvil tries announcing for a couple of weeks here in 91. Doesn't work out very well. I think he tried it predominantly on challenge. Pull of the hair and a running power slam and Jim the Anvil Nightheart is victorious here. The Undertaker is out next. He's got irons in the fire now with, uh, I guess an alignment with Jake Roberts and issues with Savage, of course, the Ultimate Warrior leaving very quickly, abruptly quitting the promotion. Shots to the midsection by The Undertaker, and they needed to find a place to put him, of course, by November. So we're here in September. By the end of November, from time for Survivor Series, he's all lined up for Hogan, so that happened quick. Might have actually happened in greater part because Warrior wasn't around. Hangs him upside down, Tree of Woe style, and then... Uh, we see a running clothesline and a tombstone use of the body bags, and The Undertaker is successful. Uh, we go to the event center. I don't know why they always close with event centers on this program, but they do in any event. Um, we see uh, Virgil out there talking about having the dream of a lifetime holding the million-dollar belt. He, who's going to turn down a million dollars? And the warlord flanked by Slick, basically told that he still is one of the best in the world. He's ready for any and all comers. And that's where we go. We'll be back with more right after this.